It blew hard at close house today. In fact, it brought a tree crashing down, fortunately, without causing injury. It was a tough day for the players, but we saw some excellent golf. Graham McDowell, the former US Open champion, birdied three of his last five holes and nearly finished with a hole in one. The 71 for G Mac, and he's on two under after three rounds. Jason Cockrack had a shocking seven at the fourth, five off the tee, but then finished well. This the first of three in a row for a 73, and at four under, he's not out of it. Pavid Tankamol Prasat is right there as well. One of the best rounds of the day and one of the best shots of the day at 16. A 69 for the tie. He is on four under par. The experienced Aussie Matt Jones is right there as well. Beautiful 67 today. This at 16 for Eagle. Didn't quite manage that one, but made the birdie. Abraham Anser had one of those days when he didn't seem to be doing anything spectacular, but he did enough. This a birdie at the seventh. One of four. He's on seven under par. David Pugh's another who had a seven on the card in the tough conditions, but recovered well for a 70. The young Spanish, Spaniards only two behind. As for Neil Skittycap, the Zimbabwe Open champion, earlier in the summer, a 66, the best of the day, including three in a row from 16. And talking of the 16th, this was perhaps the shot of the day from Andy Ogletree, a two-time international series winner. He's heading for a third. This was brilliant at 16. He would hold the putt for an eagle. He followed it with a birdie at 17, and then at 18, very nearly made another. The par was enough, though, for a 67, and at nine under par, it's Andy Ogletree who leads by one going into the final round of International Series England here at Close House.